I really like that one. Are you kidding? My mum's opinion is really important. It's my wedding, she's just the bride. <laughs> a bride always wants to please her mother. No? No, it's too plain. I want her to feel this is her special day as well. Oh, are you excited? Not so much. Why did you purchase a dress? Because my mum loved it. But different opinions can lead to a standoff. I wasn't aware how you think like the dress who I've got here today. I feel so sick and really don't think this is the one for me. It's bride versus mum. Oh. My name is Holly Nichols. I really like this. No, Mum, it's too plain. I brought my mum with me today because she is ridiculously honest, very opinionated. She'll just tell me exactly what she thinks. I don't want to put it on. Well, it's not all about you, honey. It's about <laughs> us as well. My mum's opinion is really important. She would definitely make me doubt myself if she hated the dress that I loved. I really like that one. Are you kidding? Leaning on your mum for support is lovely, but only if you both share the same bridal vision. Good morning, ladies. I'm David Emanuel. This is Kim, your bridal consultant. Hi. Where's the bride? Me. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Pleased to meet you. you. God, you've got a bevy of women with you. Yeah. Who's who? So this is my mum, and then I've got three of my bridesmaids with me. That's a lot of support. Yeah. Let's talk about your fiance. What, what's his name? His name's Ricky. Ricky always said from the beginning that he knows that one day he'll marry me. He's really funny. He makes me laugh all the time. I love that about him. Where is it happening? It's happening in Lane's Barn in Wantage. I'm getting married in the winter, so I want it to feel wintry and warm. And I just want all the guests to feel really cosy and relaxed. Now, what sort of gown would you uh, like? I like a bit more bling. Right. I like it quite fitted. Do like a little sleeve. Little sleeve. Yeah. Do we like lace? I like lace, but my mum hates lace. Oh, cute mum. <laughs> mum, how do you see your darling daughter on her wedding day? Well, I like very elegant and very plain. I like that A-line. Not too blingy, no lace. I just think it looks like it's neck curtaining. Really? <laughs> I think lace looks dirty and it reminds me that it just needs a good wash. You seem to be quite set on what the bride should look like. It's my wedding, she's just the bride. Oh, I see. My mum is a much bigger diva than me when it comes to this wedding, so she wants everything perfect. Who's holding the purse strings? My mum's paying, but I've said about a £2,000 budget. About okay. £2,000. So, darling, I think I need you to go off to the dressing room. Thank you. And you ladies, you over to the seats. We haven't even started, and Holly and mum are already at odds over detail. She wants things with sleeves and lace. Mm. Mother wants her plate. This is pretty. It's a compromise between the two, because we've got A-line, yeah. we've got lace. But we're starting with the fitted dress that caters more to our bride's wishes. How do you feel in this first bridal gown? I do like the shape, and I like this lace. I'm a fan of this one. So let's go show your entourage. And here comes the bride. What are you feeling, darling? I do like the fabric and I like the shape, but I do quite like the top of it. Let's spin you round and let's see what they think. Straight to Mum. I'd prefer it without the lace. It looks like a neck curtain, Holly. <laughs> it's tight. It shows every lump and bump. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> My mum really, really does not like the lace on this dress. I'd rather just take a step back than have an argument. Next one. <laughs> so, honey, back to the dressing okay. room. Going the other end of the spectrum, oh, yeah. we have a sleeve, a line. The next dress still has the lace that Holly loves. I like the top half of this dress. I think my mum will as well. Mm -hmm. The lace isn't too much lace. But I'm hoping I can win mum over with a fuller skirt. I'm going to ask you straight away, what do you think? I like this one. I've got a waist. Mm -hmm. And I like those bridey. And the skirt you love? I like the lace and at the bottom. And you like the lace detail? I do really like that. It's very romantic. Let's spin you around. Well, I'm coming to the boss first. Mum? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like the lace. <laughs> I mean, there's lace on the bodies. No, I don't mind that. I don't oh, mind. It's, it's you don't that. like the lace on the bottom? Mm. What don't you like? I just don't like it. OK. It always looks dirty. I think we could do better. But I'm still a fan of lace. Becoming a lace battle. <laughs> Hearing my mum's real strong opinion does make me question, maybe it just doesn't look right on me. We're in a dilemma here. You need her approval. I'd rather have her approval. Perhaps I should take her shopping. Might that help? Yes, I think it would. I've known Holly all her life, and I know what she likes. I know what suits her. Whereas David doesn't, so yes, I would like to pick out a few dresses. Right. <laughs> Off you go. 
Yeah. You get married once, don't you? Yeah. So you want it right. So I'm going to tell her the truth. Anything yeah. but lace. Right, Mum, we're going to go shopping together. <laughs> Holly and her mum are having a standoff over lace. Something like this. You want a bit of lace. We've discussed A-line. Yeah, um, I like that one. What else is catching your eye? Yeah, this one. Oh. This is really a Cinderella dress. Let's see if your daughter likes them. Yes. Here's hoping Holly will like Mum's more pared-down picks. Oh, hello, David. Your mother. She's got definite views, right? Yeah. She liked this one. I'm not... That much a fan of the Saturn. Then she saw this one. Now it's a bit plain for me. A bit plain. And finally, she said, she said all twinkly. It's very princess. I don't like the shape. Right. I'm not loving the choices. Maybe Mum doesn't know me as well as I thought she knew me. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> I do want a bit of lace, something to make the dress just a little bit different. Holly is standing up to Mum and sticking to her guns in wanting some lacy detail. Look. It's pretty. And she wanted lace, but not too much. And it's got the zhuzh at the bottom. Fingers that crossed. It's perfect. Off you go. We know our bride will love this fishtail, but will it end the lace showdown with Mum? So, what are your initial thoughts on this gown? I really like this lace. This just does make me feel excited. I do like the way I look in it. I see smiles on faces, Holly. What are you feeling? I really like the shape. I like the the corset top. Yeah, and you like the lace? I do, I like the lace. I like that it carries on going down in the train. Does it make you feel special? I definitely do feel like a bride, yeah. So spin round, darling. So girls, what do we think? I love how it fits your body. I absolutely love this. Oh! I can actually imagine, like, you wearing a veil and walking down the aisle in this. Yeah, I love it as well. I love no. the bling. Mum! I like that one. Oh! Especially like the shape. And like all that lace. lace. I know, but it's blingy. That doesn't look like lace to me. Holly looks gorgeous in this dress. I, I love it. I think we've sorted the battle of the laces out, have we, Mum? Yes. Finally. You love it. I do. And the bride loves it. I do. How much is this dress? Firstly, it's by Sophia Charlie. And the price of this dress is £1,367. Oh. So... Well within budget. <laughs> I am really happy that my mum likes the lace. I didn't ever think that she would like any lace. I really like that. It looks gorgeous. You do know what's coming next. Are you going to say yes to the dress? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, it's really pretty. I picked the dress purely on what I liked. I didn't really think about what my mum liked. Oh, wow, wow. Hmm? That's nice. My name is Chengatai Zaranika. I've been wedding dress shopping before and I found my dream dress, but unfortunately it was way over my budget. It really needs to be the first two-in-one two in one dress that we but found. we try something else. I'm hoping to find my dream dress that's going to completely supersede the one before and make me completely forget it. Good morning. Good Hi. Morning. Which one of you is the bride? I'm the bride. Hi. I'm David Emmanuel. Chengen. This is Chloe. Chloe. Lovely to meet you. This Hi. must be mummy. Yeah. Hey, Hello. So. My little sister, Cynthia. Hi. My best friend, Natasha. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, nice. too. Uh, when's the big day? Next year. The wedding is going to be at Braxton Park. My side of the family, Zimbabwean, and his side of the family, Ghanaian. So my wedding is going to be white wedding. We're going to have a civil ceremony first. In the reception, we're going to incorporate African heritage wear. It's going to be full of colour. I'm going to be wearing kente. He's going to be wearing kente, which is a Ghanaian traditional material, and it's going to get the party started. What does your man get up to? What, what does he do? He's a sales manager. My fiancé's name is Bay Atakori Oboa, and we've been together for about 10 years now. We met when I was passing through at a train station, and he just stopped me along my way and just started talking to me. Since then, we've been inseparable. Hi. Right, I'm liking two of them. Oh, <laughs> right, okay, good. I'll try this one first. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Perfect. yeah. Just the one thing we don't have is the detachable skirt, okay. but something like that can be like customised. It's pretty. What do you think you're onto, Arjun? I think in this one. I think they're gonna love it. Wow. Up here, darling. Wow. So, what do you think, darling? I love the detail on it. Yeah. I do like the lace. 
But I think I want a lot more in this area. I want pearls and diamond tea detail on there to make it pop. What do you think, Mum? I like it. It's nice, but it shows much skin. And it's too low as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's too plain. There's nothing to it. There's no drama to it. And she doesn't look happy in it as well. I'm getting the feeling it's not the one, right? No. It's not blowing you away. No. no. Back to the dressing room. <laughs> What are your thoughts on this one? So I'm loving now. this one so far now. It's got a detachable train to come. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> a gown with a detachable train is perfect for the bride who wants a variety of looks on her wedding day. What are you thinking about the train? OK. It's not as big as I thought it would be. So if we were to, like, pin it... Oh, see? It's looking different! Yeah. Well, let me see what I can do. <laughs> How are you feeling now I'm starting to pin that material back? <laughs> I'm feeling so good about this right now. <laughs> I really love it. Is it? Wow. Yeah. I love this dress. Do you? I do. It just makes me grin. My cheeks are hurting. <laughs> Schenke, it's too plain. Woo, too plain. plain. Look at these. They're two in one day. There's nothing on it. They look like curtains. Curtains? Yeah, yeah curtains here. Yeah. I know Chenge likes this dress, but I think we can do better. Oh, I can't see you. What? I can't see you in it. Like. How do you feel now? <laughs> no, no. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> the comments have really, really confused me, and I, I thought I was in love with the dress, but now I'm back to square one. Chloe and I are convinced this mermaid salgan has the presence to do the trick. This dress is amazing. I love this dress. Oh. I love, I love this dress. Should we go and show your family? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. <laughs> I love this dress. You love it? I love the ruffle. I love the detail on the bodice. This is definitely the wow I'm talking about. Mum? Oh, dear. Really? You like that dress? You don't like oh, it? Oh, no, no. <gasps> it look, look like, it <laughs> looks like somebody's just put, it, it just mixed it up. Oh, oh my no. God. No. No, Baba, you have to change your mind quick. No. I'm in so much shock. I can't believe that she doesn't love the dress. We want class. This is mm, very That classy. is not class. No, it's not. I'm really surprised that Chenge likes this dress. We didn't plan on a dress like this with ruffles. I like it. Yeah, it's cute. Like, it's pretty. Like, yeah, it's pretty. Very pretty. It's Done wow. Before. Like, yeah. it's wow. Yeah, I like the bottom. But you know what would have, like, made it better? If there was, like, glitzy. Yes. Make it yeah. loud. Let's see what the price is first, shall we? Yes, how much is it? So this dress is by Justin Alexander, and it's 1455 no, no way. Now, for that price, right, what we could do, get the seamstress here to sparkle if you want it. Yes, a, a bit. A bit, bit of diamante. Yeah, just a bit of... Just a bit of, bit of bling. Can we see it with a veil? Let's grab the veil. This is bride, Mama. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, my God. I love it. What are we thinking now? There's still too many ruffles. When I see a bride in love with the dress, but mum isn't having it, I have to step in. I think it's really important. It's your gown. It's your day. You've got to feel confident. You want to look radiant. Is this dress saying that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. I feel this dress is the one. Am I going to ask the question? No, not yet. Not, oh. <laughs> Because my mum no, 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 doesn't love the dress. It's, it's your day. Her opinion counts more than anything. I can't say yes without her loving the dress. Just remember whose day it is. Your daughter loves this gown. Chenge is too plain up there. So we add a sparkly bell. Do you think that might? Maybe that will look a bit classy on there. Good thinking, Chloe. We need to turn this appointment around to get Mum on our bride side. Two ways we can add spark. We can either pin it around there, mm. right? You see, that actually accents your waist even more. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is nice, eh? And it's like to make you happy. 
let's put a blusher on and for you to hold the flowers and see. Oh, do you see? I love this dress. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, can I have that again? <laughs> She looks very happy in that dress, and I'm really happy for her. It's beautiful, actually. <laughs> she needs the full picture. Well, I've, I've got only one more question to ask, and that is, darling, are you going to say yes to this dress? I'm saying yes to this yeah! dress. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. you look beautiful. Thank you very much. Mummy, I'm out of here. My work is done. <laughs> I'm out. This dress makes me feel so phenomenal. I'll be the most beautiful bride and I can't wait for everyone to see it. On a bride's wedding day, she can be as over the top as she wants to be. Tell me what it is that you're looking for. Really slim, figure hugging, big train, lots of bling, big veil, everything. And when it comes to the dress, more is more. What do you desperately want? A bow, a big bow. Even if her entourage disagree. I, I really, really like this. It's actually disgusting. <laughs> you can rock anything, but that is just not you. Oh, wow. My name's Celine Harland. I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. This was like the one you had before. I don't want anything like I had before. I'd like to say I haven't been married before. I think I was legally joined to someone before. This is me getting married in my heart for the first time. It was 20 <laughs> years ago and 20 emotions ago. No, thank you. The first time I had a huge ball gown. So this time, being a bit older as well, I think I'll be going something a bit more classic, elegant, mature. <laughs> What about something plain and satiny? And... I don't think satin because that'll cling to all my lumps and bumps. My biggest concern is I don't want to look like I'm trying to be a 25-year-old bride. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm David Emmanuel. Hi. Hello. And this is Kim. I'm Kim. Hi. Hi. I guess, now, which one of you is the bride? That would be me. Ah, oh, there, just... there. What's your name? <laughs> Celine. Who's everybody? This is my daughter, Kay. Hi. Hi. Other daughter, Lucy. Kim. Hello. This is my best friend and maid of honour, Siobhan. And my Hi. son, Connor. Hello there. Hi. So tell me about the man in your life. My fiance's name is Anjum. We met through mutual friends. He blew me away completely and utterly. I just kept thinking, oh my God. I want those eyes to look at me forever. So give me an idea of the wedding. Where is it happening? My wedding's happening at Beclair House. It's incredibly decadent. His family are very, very close. So our wedding has turned into a huge affair. My fiance is of Pakistani origin. So therefore, I would like to have an element of his heritage mm. in my dress. They love their beading and their sparkle. Absolutely. So. Any ideas of a theme or silhouette? I would like something quite fitted, mm -hmm. maybe not too much frou frou. Right. So no ball gowns then? No, been there, okay. done that one. Okay, what sort of budget are we looking at? My budgets are probably up to about 3,000. Wow, great budget. For Celine, restraint is the order of the day when it comes to shape. But we're going over the top with Asian inspired embellishment. I'd like to start with the Panina Tournay dress. Okay. This dress is really exciting. I love the sparkles and everything, and I can't wait to see what it looks like on. How are we feeling about this beautiful gown? I think I was more wowed with it on the hanger. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Thank you, David. What are we thinking, darling? I think when I look down on the fabric, it looks spectacular. Yeah. But then when my eye comes up onto me, it just cools. It had hanger appeal, and now it doesn't have body appeal. What do we think? It's, okay. it's actually okay. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this dress. I don't think it does anything for her. I think the fabric looks cheap. It looks plastic, sort of. It's just not very flattering in any way. You can rock anything, but that is just not you. Standing in a dress that nobody likes is very worrying. Celine, this is not working. Back to the dressing room. Okay, dokie. For Celine's second dress, we're sticking with the sweetheart neckline she likes, but changing the head to toe lace with delicate glass beads. How do we feel about this beautiful gown? A slight flutter. Ooh. <laughs> it's certainly more. Elegant. I wouldn't see a young bride in this. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
This is quite a statement. How are you feeling, Celine, in this? I got a slight flutter when I first oh, put you? it on, and, and the train is beautiful, and I think it does give me that Asian feel yes. that I'm looking for just because it's so jewelled. I really like all the embellishments. It's oh. almost like a beautiful jewelled sari I've seen. Yeah. Let's yes. spin you around, darling. What do you think? Looks a bit like a light shade. Chandelier? <laughs> no, like a cheap one. <gasps> and I think it would look better if you had something yeah, to well, hold you up one. there. I think I would rather actually possibly have coverage. Yeah. I think she looks like an older person in a younger person's dress. What do you think, darling? I, I don't not like it, but it's not you. It's the dress. I think my lovely entourage have just dampened my flutter. I don't think this is the dress for me at all. OK, right, Selena, where do you go from here? Help me. I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> Kim, you and I have got to go shopping. We have. Celine needs to go back to the dressing room. Absolutely. Let's go. I really hope that David and Kim know what I want more than I do, cos I'm starting to worry now. How can you find what you don't know? Celine wants embellishment on her dress, but doesn't like the first two blingy gowns that she's tried on. So you're feeling this, darling, are you? I love the bodice. You know, yeah, oh, this is beautiful. So let's try this glitzy number and add an illusion neckline. Celine, darling. Yes. We have been shopping. I want your gut reaction. We have got an illusion neck here. It's absolutely beautiful. Because I yeah. think this is a beautiful gown. Oh, let's go for it, absolutely. thank you. Absolutely. Catch okay. you later. OK. How are we feeling in this one? A bit wow. A bit wow! <laughs> I wouldn't have looked at this. Oh, my lord. Oh. <laughs> I very... see a smile on your face. <laughs> yeah. What are you feeling? I didn't expect to feel... ..romantic. Can I...? I feel romantic. This dress has given me the feeling that I was looking for when I came here. How is the illusion a neckline working for you? I love it. Yeah. I do. I, I think I it really, gives you more really confidence. Like I can see that. Yeah. I really love the sparkly and the chill of the bottom. On that note, spin round. What do we think? That's the dress. Very glamorous. I think that's better. You like it? Yeah, I like this bit up the top. I think yeah, that's yeah. a lot better. Mm. I think it's actually you. Yeah. It's so handsome. elegant. She looks fabulous. Fabulous. For Celine and her neckline, it seems more is definitely more. I like the colour. Ah, the colour's beautiful. Actually, I love the colour. The price of this one is 2066 It's worth it. I came looking for a dress to make me feel like I felt when I met Anjum. I didn't want to leave you side that day, and now I don't want to take this dress off. Well, you like it. Your entourage love it. Celine, are you going to say yes to the dress? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations. Yeah. Well oh. Thinking about Anjum seeing me in the dress, I don't know how I'm going to make it down the aisle without being a blubbering wreck. <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> oh. Now that I've found the dress, I just can't wait for the date to come. When an unstoppable force... I just don't quite feel it's sparkly enough for me. I absolutely love it. Really? ..meet an immovable object. It's vile. You look like an old maid. Who's the bride here? Me. <laughs> <laughs> there will be fireworks. This is what I envisioned. I still like the other one. We've got to let the other one go. And the bride may lose her cool. Oh, wow. My name's Danielle, I'm 24 and I'm from Cornwall. All the choices. I've brought with me my Nana Pat. She's a fiery little soul. Oh, that's pretty. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Brought my sister, uh, Lisa, my mum, Jackie, and my mow-in-law, June. It's too fitted for me. I'd, I'd like to be able to eat my dinner. Show your bum. <laughs> it's usually the bride's way or the highway when it comes to dress shopping.
But if the entourage dares to disagree, there's bound to be fallout. Hello, ladies. Who's the bride? I'm looking at all of you. Oh, hello. hello. I'm Danielle. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Danielle. Oh, perfect name. <laughs> now, tell me about your fiancé. My fiancé, Sean. Yeah. Um, he's been together for over nine years now. So oh, since about school. time, isn't it? <laughs> about time, Danielle. About time. My fiancé is Sean Hewitt. He's my best friend, my soulmate. We both like going and exploring. He makes things so much more fun, so I couldn't imagine not marrying Sean. Tell me about what kind of wedding you're going to have and what are you looking for in a dress? My wedding's going to be at a country house. Yeah. So it's going to be quite fairy tale, whimsical. Yeah. Dress-wise, yeah. kind of want to fit in with that. How do you feel about beadwork and lace? Speedwork, absolutely love. I'd like to feel like Cinderella on my wedding day. I want it to be sparkly. I want it to be sophisticated. And tell me about budget. 1,200. OK, then. Out of everyone here, whose opinion do you value the most? I think the hardest to please is going to be Nan. Why, little Nanny Noo? Wow. <laughs> she ain't so little. She's a tough cookie. <laughs> little Nanny Noo is a tough cookie. Is this true? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I don't like the dress, then I would definitely tell her it's not my taste. Ladies, if you want to go take a seat, get comfy, and wonderful. then me and Daniel will be shopping. Thank you. Off you go. Oh, wonderful. My nan's opinion's going to matter the most today, but it's still going to be my choice at the end of the day. There's one in your window. Should we go look? Yeah. If it's Cinderella she's going for, I'm guessing it's a princess-style dress she's seen. So this is it. That is absolutely stunning, and I yeah. think that is perfect for what you're asking for. Every nan loves a ball girl. How do you feel about this little number? Give it a go. Right, then. Let's start with this girl. It's got an illusion neckline and subtle beadwork. I definitely like the shape. Yeah. It gives me a nice small way. Not as sparkly as I'd like. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. What's going through your mind? I do feel like a princess. I just don't quite feel it's sparkly enough for me. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. Is there anything in particular that you really love about the dress? Everything. Really? I love the top. It's her. It's just her. Crikey. Oh, I'm stuck for words. <laughs> love it, love it. I absolutely love it. Danielle, how does it feel hearing those comments? It's just not the One dress. thing missing. Yeah, one thing's just missing. Just that one thing missing with the sparkle. Yeah. Well, if you had a blingy belt on it or something. Danielle looks absolutely beautiful, but she's a bit hesitant because there's not enough bling on it, which is a shame, really. That was made for you, Spina. I feel totally outvoted. However, I am headstrong on what I want and what I like and what I don't like. Your entourage clearly love this gown, but for you as the bride, you've got to wear it and we need that last little touch. Come on then, let's get back to the pit room. I'm going to stay strong and this is not my dress. But hang on to that one. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. What was your thoughts on that? That was really positive and it made me think, what I'm seeing, is that right compared to all the positive comments they were given? Yeah. But I'm a big thing on gut feeling and it's, it's just not quite there yet. The entourage love this dress, especially now. But this headstrong bride is not feeling it. This one was from the window. Yeah. Going with her own instincts, next up is the blinging ball gown Danielle herself saw. How are you feeling in this gown? I love it. Let me show you the back. The back's beautiful. And you've got that bling that you so desperately wanted within your gown. Just about to see my entourage and I'm praying that they like it as much as I do. Exactly what I envisioned. Exactly what, exactly you, envisioned. what I envisioned. Do you feel like a princess? I do, but like a modern day. A modern day princess, so a grown up princess. Yeah. Um, it's got the bling. Yeah. But I preferred the other one. Mum? I, I preferred the other one. What? The other one just is, is just amazing. I didn't get the feeling in the other one. I still prefer the other one. It was her. What well, was it then? My little sister stood on the podium, absolutely desperate for one of us to like this dress. 
but there's just something missing. You was absolutely in love with this dress before we came out here. What's going through your mind? It's quite lonely being on your own with no one sharing the same excitement. I feel absolutely gutted. The other dress, did, I didn't get that feeling, so for me, that other dress is out. This is what I envisioned. I still like the other one. We've got to let the other one go. I'm going to stick strong to this dress. I think we need to add a veil to give you more of an you'll idea. See, you'll see what I think. How much is it, Spinny? Should we add a veil first? No. <laughs> How much is it? So the price of this dress is £1,235. It's not about the money. It's about what she looks like. I'm going to change the entourage's opinion by getting the veil on and giving it that finishing touch that it needs. Oh, no, God. No. <laughs> well, we've cracked you. <laughs> She's clearly besotted, and because of that, you know, how can you say no? I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Mum, what would you say oh, to this yeah. dress? Absolutely. Yeah. She's stunning. My mother-in-law crying, my mother crying. I feel that they finally joined me on my vision. Nanny? No, not at all. At the end of the day, you've got to be happy. Yeah. My Nana still isn't convinced. However, she is a hard person to please. I love it, absolutely love it. I'm still hoping she'd pick the first one. It was Danielle. Girls, do you feel like the veil is the final finishing touch? Yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. It's beautiful. Yeah. Shall I ask the magic question? Do it. Are you saying yes to the dress? I am saying yes to this dress. Yay! I feel like Cinderella, it's like going to the ball. Ladies! Yeah. Hello! Hello. Who's the bride? Me! We are. You! Me! We! You! We. Right, I'm no. Josie. Josie, I'm Danielle, nice I'm to Danielle. meet you. She's my little sister. sister. So Probably. when you mean we... She thinks this is her wedding. Are you two being married? No. Yes, because yeah. we're getting married. No. It's your wedding, so technically it's not yours. No, That's still to be argued. <laughs> but introduce me to the other ladies. So this is Jamila. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. My sister-in-law, Hayley. Hello. Tell me about your wedding. We're doing two weddings, but uh, we're going to have a traditional Nigerian wedding. There's going to be about 400 people in that one, and then we're going to have a church wedding. We want it to be an elegant experience in a beautiful location. So tell me about your fiancé. My fiancé is James Littick. Um, we met <laughs> when we were 17. So your sweetheart? Yes. He's been in each other's lives ever since. He's just the perfect guy for me. He's everything that I ever wanted in a man. So tell me what you have in mind for a dream dress. I just want something that makes me feel like I'm floating. Right. I want to feel regal. I don't like strapless dresses. Oh, yeah. I don't like this area of my arms. James wants to see me in a princess dress. Yes. She has such a good figure. She needs to show it. If I wear a tight dress and James doesn't like it, he will tell me. Wait, if I approve, he has to approve. <laughs> my sister-in-law, Hayley, she's brutally honest. So her and my sister together is going to be a bit daunting. Princess or fishtail? Yeah. If it looks good and it makes my jaw drop, then I'm fine. What's your budget for the gown? My budget is 2000 I'm going to send you off to the fitting room. Yeah. And entourage, if you'd like to go take a seat. Okay. Off you go, ladies. <laughs> I've got to find a dress that's going to suit the bride, her sister, and James, the fiance. OMG! <laughs> I'm choosing three different silhouettes. One I want to get you in first is that one. Princess. Yes. So I think so James will be. Yeah. James. OK, let's do this. Let's talk about Sister Joyce. She's really helpful, but she's also like a bit of a nightmare. Right. She needs to like everything. What are you liking about this dress? I love the straps and the lace and the minimal bling, but there's a lot of dress. It's like a curtain. A curtain? But the bottom just looks... Oh. Do I like it? I like the top of the dress with the lace here. It's not us. Is it because you can't see yourself in it either? I just can't see me and her wearing it. <laughs> There's physically no dress for us both to wear it. Well, I can actually fit in it. <laughs> I don't want to rule out the princess style just yet. This princess dress is everything I feel like James would want to see me in, but I'm just not feeling it at all. If we can find a nice medium, that would be great. Not as big, yeah, but 
does feel like the princess. Feels us. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes! You're getting it. So, how'd you feel that went? Got slated. <laughs> Joyce certainly didn't like it. She had nothing good to say about it. The ball gun that her fiancé was sure to love is too big for Josie and looks more like a curtain to her sister. Dive in for me. So Danielle is trying the sister's pick next, a fitted mermaid-style gown. What are you thinking? I love this. In terms of shape, I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. So, how do you feel in this number? Now we're getting there. I love all this pretty lace bling. I do love the back. The back's gorgeous. I think we need to see what your sister thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Why do you love it? Because it fits her body. Look how she has such a good figure. I absolutely love this dress. It has everything I wanted in a dress, and I think we are going to say yes to this dress. I don't like it. I don't like the design at the top. I don't like the scraps. I just don't like it. The back is absolutely beautiful. No, do you know what? The back is so simple. I feel like there could be so much more. When Haley says she hated the dress, I'm really worried about her style. The more I'm looking at it, I think maybe the colour is possibly part of the reason. It makes me feel glamorous, I feel gorgeous in it, but I'm not getting that feeling. I don't like this fishtail. I don't like the colour. Now you changed your mind. You liked it before. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. James wouldn't like that. No? He wouldn't. No, he wouldn't like this. I don't like it at all. Hayley does not like this dress. She thinks James wouldn't like this dress as well. I'm not sure I like this dress anymore. I'm the sister. I do think whatever I say should actually go. But it's what we want. It's frustrating that Joyce doesn't agree with me. I feel like she doesn't see my face in it. She doesn't see that I'm not happy. This is not it. Not in the slightest. So, Joyce, even though she loved you in that dress yeah. and you said that you didn't like it, yeah. bit of a compromise? I think we can push her into you compromising. Danielle's hoping this next drop waist gown will end this sisterly squabble and, most importantly, wow our bride. How do you feel in this one? I love this. It's gorgeous, it's glowing, it shows my shape. My entourage has been so hard to please, particularly Hayley and Joy, so I'm just getting my fingers crossed. I hope they love it. I'm excited. <gasps> right, how do you feel in this one? This dress is stunning. It's sparkly, takes in my waist, but then poofs out. It's just gorgeous. Oh, that's been your round. Oh. <laughs> this dress, it shows off your figure. You still got the bit that comes out, but it's just not too much. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it. Give me a shimmy. <laughs> Woo! Right, everyone's loving this dress. Joyce. If Joyce doesn't like this dress, I might just quit. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to start again. I actually love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why? It just stands out. She looks so amazing. It has the fitted, just the way I liked it, and it has the little ball gown at the bottom, just the way James and Haley wants it. We love it. I love it. We love it. I love it. <laughs> Joyce loves this. Josie loves this. Do you think James is going to love this? <laughs> he can't not love it. I mean, I am quite reserved because the arms are still a bit bare and I still feel a bit exposed. Right. Let me go and get something for you to address the sleeve situation. As much as I love this dress, it's still strapless, and that's one thing I didn't want in a dress. Yes. Oh, wow. I want you to see this. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I want to scream. Oh god! Oh, 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 I love this. How much is this dress? Two thousand five hundred and 99. Right. Hearing Danny say the price of this dress, my heart literally sunk. I can't go over my budget. <laughs> oh, this is so hard. There is no budget when it comes to beauty. Come on. Josie, are you OK with price? Yes, I love this feeling I'm getting, and there shouldn't be a budget to this kind of feeling, so... Are you saying yes to the dress? It's 
the perfect dress. You can't put a budget on perfection. I like that, but it's not very shiny, is it? These are Hello really there, good morning. Hi, I'm David oh, Emmanuel. Hello. This is, some, this, is, this is Danielle. Which one is the bride? I'm the bride. Oh, hi. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. This must be I'm your Natalie. sister. Hi, Natalie. Nice to meet you. This must be Daddy. David. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> and this is Mummy. Hello. <laughs> Why do you brought Dad along? We'd agree that he's here to pay for it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> this is the boss. That's right. <laughs> what sort of budget are we thinking about? I'm thinking around 1500 OK. So when is it all happening? In September. In September, yeah. where? Yeah, uh, it's at Broom Park Golf and Country Club. Oh. That's a beautiful manor house with beautiful grounds. What does your man do? He works as a fraud investigator oh. at the oh. bank. My fiancé's name is Adam. He's very, very good looking. He actually looks very much like Thor. <laughs> And he loves that, and he knows it. And, yeah, he's just as confident as Thor is. <laughs> Give me an idea of what you think you're looking for. Something quite subtle, mm -hmm. slim line. God. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, hang on, oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Let, let, let me hear her story first. Yeah, subtle. Colour? Pretty, elegant. Uh, I'd love pink. <laughs> Hence, you're wearing pink. Yes. Yeah, so, you're a pink girl. Yeah, that's... Right, I, I, I'm, I'm getting a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what are you thinking, Mum? All the way, princess. I don't mind pink. You can have that if you like. Oh, you're but... allowed pink. You're allowed pink. I know. I'm very really generous. <laughs> but lovely and big. Big, <laughs> shiny. No, no, no. I don't agree Definitely. with that. Definitely. Oh, so, Dad, do you want to see her in a slinky number? Silk or a fish... slinky. Can I just add, you're actually only here to pay. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Will there be a disagreement on the panel today? For us as the entourage, yes, there will be. Will there, David? There might be, yeah. <laughs> we need you, darling, to go to the dressing room. Okay. And you, lovely people, take a pew on the sofas. Thank, Thank you. you. Go. <laughs> Look at this figure. <laughs> it's cool, wow. Isn't it? What are you thinking? It's really nice. I like the top, I like the lace, and I like the bottom. And you wanted yeah, a blush like colour, so, so yeah. the blush obviously is under the lace. Yeah. And you've got a Love bit of colour. bling on there. It's isn't? really nice. Let's see what they think. Let's come to Dad. Absolutely lovely. Slimming effect of it and also the uh, sparkles up top. Looks, yeah. She looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's very, very pretty and obviously you look amazing in it. Coming to Mum next, I know you wanted Cinderella, but what do you think? I don't like it. Oh. What? Why? What don't you like about it's it? Just, for me, it's just like mad busy at the top and then blah, at the bottom. To be quite frank with you, I don't think it's uh, wedding enough. I really don't. I'm sorry. It's not for me, that dress. I disagree with that, so we have a different opinion. The back is beautiful. It's a bit too sexy for a wedding, don't you think? It's nice. I had a feeling this was going to happen and I want everyone to love my dress, so it's not the one. There's a consensus on the colour, but Mum didn't like the first dress because it was too slim. Princess. Let's give it a go so Let's... that Mum can uh, see it. So, we're going to make her dreams come true by turning her daughter into a perfect pink princess. Oh, my God, it's so big. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing dress-up dress kind of thing, yeah. I think she's going to love it. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> really? I love this dress. It's my daughter's princess dress. For me, the perfect dress. I love it. Coming to Sis, what do you think? I love it. However, I prefer you in a slim dress. I never thought I would say it. Let's see what Dad thinks. Dad? Well, it, it is beautiful, but it's not the last dress. I prefer a slimmer fitting dress and probably with a silkier finish. What are you feeling? This is massive. I love the pink colour of this dress, but it's absolutely way too big. Try on another slim one. Fine. You just need to remember <laughs> whose day it is. Let's get you back to the dress room rather swiftly, I think. It's always good being right, yeah. I'm uh, pleased that we're moving in the direction that uh, I hoped we would be. What, your direction? Right, girls, I want your opinion on this. 
very pretty. It's, it's blush. Yeah. It's got a bit of twinkle. It's got a tiny little belt. But what I like about it, it's got the lace. It's slim, but there's a double lace skirt, you oh, see. Yeah. I'm really excited at looking at this dress that Dave has bought in for me. I'm getting a really good feeling about this dress. Oh, wow. That's really nice, isn't it? I love eyelash lace. I love the sequins. I like the sleeves. I just love everything about this dress. I think we need to get you out there and show you off. Let's do it. I'm hoping that my dad likes the slimmer, my sister likes the slimmer. Maybe this is a, a time for my mum to start swaying. You look pretty to the picture. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah, it feels really nice. You've got two layers of lace. You wanted pink, you're a pink girl, you've got pink. Do you yeah. feel like a bride? I do, yeah. This you feels like a bride. wedding dress. Your mother is crying. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> I never thought I'd see my mum get emotional like this when I'm not wearing a princess dress. Oh, wow. That's amazing. It is, isn't it? Gorgeous. Ah! Absolutely beautiful. That's what we you... like to hear. You look absolutely stunning. I really do. I can't believe I'm getting so emotional. About it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look beautiful. Yeah. It's just perfect. Dad, could you see yourself walking Fiona down the aisle? That one is uh, in a different league, a league of its own, that one. No, this dress is beautiful. I, is. I, I think I'd call it regal, actually, to be honest. Hang on a sec. How much is it? Because it How looks much? very, very expensive. Uh -oh. <laughs> Danielle, give us the good news. Um, no. Oh. 1,492. Thank you! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Under budget, <laughs> Dad! I like your style. I'm a finance man, so uh, when something comes bang on budget, I'm really pleased. And this beautiful gown is designed by Ronald Joyce. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Let's see a veil, shall we? Oh, that's pretty. I think now it's starting to look oh, more wow. like a bride, don't you? That's lovely. Amazing. Yeah. I haven't asked the one question I've got to ask you. Are you going to say yes to the dress? I want everyone to say yes to the dress. Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> Very good. It was hard work, wow, <laughs> but well, my work here is done. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll come I down. I love it. Oh, my God. Everyone loves my dress. I love my dress. I'm ready to get married in a pink wedding dress.